Well, we're back at the warehouse where you can buy the fish feed and uh, duck feed. It's like my second home. And as you can see, the journey down this morning was uh, horrific. I mean, it's the traffic. Uh, it's just so stressful, what can I say? You know, <laughs> this is a Saturday morning at eight o'clock. That's rush hour, that is. I'm telling you, it's an absolute dream to drive up here because there's almost no traffic. Yes, it's a regular place, this, for us. Um, you know, the fish do take a fair bit of feeding, but uh, they are coming along very, very nicely, so no complaints at all. It's been a fantastic project. A lot of people have asked me uh, what I would recommend them do, you know, what type of farming and, and uh, such, what to grow and what to keep. Ducks are, you know, quite a handful. Chicken's easy. You can just leave them to roam and they'll do their own thing, and they do reproduce very, very quickly. So, yeah, I would say if you're going to do anything, I would go with chickens, not ducks. Um, the fish are actually very easy to keep, even more so. You just feed them a couple of times a day. It's amazing, actually. When we first started out with the fish, obviously they were little tiny things about this big, and um, we were feeding them about four kilos a day. They're now eating 20 kilos a day. That's a bag a day. So 430 baht a bag. It is uh, quite expensive, but obviously we're in the later stages now. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to sell these fish in uh, the next sort of six to eight weeks and uh, start all over again. I'm really looking forward to it. It's been a really nice experience. This is the back end of the warehouse. As you can see, they've got a pond there And they've got a pond over here as well. Really cool, isn't it? If you're wondering what these uh, paddles are, that's to aerate the water. Now, I can't say with 100% certainty what's in these ponds, but normally when you get this type of aeration system, they're farming prawn. Hmm, interesting, I might go and ask the guy what he's doing. Well, that's the uh, fish fed, and the ducks fed, the dogs fed, chickens fed, and the ducklings. So now, it's time for Pi and I to head on over to uh, the cornfield and go and give Dad a hand. Now, this is one of the uh, little farm tracks that we often use. It's a bit unsteady going along here, but I'm sure you'll see that uh, the gimbal will handle this just nicely. This is where the lake is. The lake is now officially closed. That's it for this year. So it's going to be restocked and uh, it'll open again next year. Normally on a Saturday there's quite a few people here. There's nobody here today. And it looks like they'll be opening up the other lake over there shortly. Can't wait to do a bit of fishing on that one though. Really can't. As you can see, it's a little bit rough going through here. But these little back roads are really interesting. There's always stuff to find. And it is so pretty out here. Pi 
I was just pointing out about the uh, fish enclosure just there and put the small fish in there and that keeps them safe from the bigger fish it's a great idea hopefully in another six to eight weeks we'll be selling ours and we'll be very happy it'll be nice uh, to see how it uh, all works out for us it is uh, an exciting time it's so rewarding though just to uh, you know take a project uh, develop it and then see it come to fruition and hopefully it'll work out just fine and uh, it will eventually help um, alleviate the need for mum and dad to come and farm in the fields. Well dad's over there on his dak dak so we're going to head on over and give him a hand. Well, we're at our local uh, DIY store and uh, it's a bit sparse. It's not exactly a B&Q. <laughs> um, there's not an awful lot here. But what we want, what we're looking for, is chain link fencing. And they have some. Did you spot the mistake earlier on? I'm wondering how many of you are going to pick up on it when I said that we'll be harvesting within six to eight weeks. Of course, I actually meant to say at the time, at the end of this month, which is what? Coming up three weeks now. Well, maybe I'm psychic. Uh, maybe not. But anyway, as we got to the cornfield, Pine spotted a guy um, that buys fish. So she went and had a chat with him. And he said right now he wouldn't buy any fish um, that's under half a kilo per fish. And he said, and the market price right now is about 40 baht. He said, and it's dropping. And the reason being, we're in the dry season and water levels are dropping in the ponds. So of course, people really, really want to get rid of their fish before they'd start dying. So uh, yeah, um, the market price is dropping. He suggested if we can to hold off until about another six to eight weeks. So what I said earlier about uh, six to eight weeks, I was correct without even knowing it. So uh, yeah, we can hold off, we're lucky, we have the deep well and of course the water comes off the mountain and feeds the underground well, so we've got plenty of water so we can keep that pond topped up with no problem at all. It does mean a little additional cost, of course, we've got to feed the fish, um, but we have another benefit in that we've put thousands and thousands of shrimp in there, little tiny shrimp, and they breed like there's no tomorrow, so there's always a food supply for the fish. So uh, yeah, it's not dire and it's a, it's a better thing. The guy did turn around and say that if you can hold off, it's possible you could get 45 to 50 baht per kilo. So uh, yep, yeah, looks like we're gonna hold off, but we've still got plenty of other things to do. We've uh, gotta get this duck pen sorted out and um, yeah, today's the day we're gonna get some chain link fencing for it. It's all good progress. I'm still really liking this gimbal though. It is so cool. Now, Dad said he's going to cut down one of the trees and they're going to turn it into posts. Um, it'll cut down the cost of doing the pen. Um, I think I would have rather used steel, but I'm, I'm going to go with that for now. What I'm going to try and do here, if I can, is to find some what we call U-nails. But um, I'm not holding my breath. And they've got nails up here. And that there, folks, is the selection. Not exactly a vast selection, is it? <laughs> we might have to go and try a, another place. We'll see. I do like to keep things local though, if I can, because you know, it does help out the locals. These are local villages. So um, yeah, if I, can, if I can find something I need, um, then I'll buy it here. I'd, I'd much rather do that and support the local village. Again, not always easy, but um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what we can find. No you nails at all. I can't say I'm surprised, but uh, you know, it would have been nice. It is what it is, you know, and um, I think this is one of the things that frustrates a lot of uh, foreigners here. 
You know, we're so used to going to these vast stores, you know, these, these massive hardware stores and buying everything you can possibly think of. I mean, the United States, they have Lowe's. Uh, you know, in the United Kingdom, we have things like uh, B&Q or, or Wix. You know, and you can pretty much, you know, buy everything from a nail to an entire side of a house. Where up here, of course, you you can't. It's um, you've generally got to go searching for stuff. Of course, we do have Home Pro, but generally it's uh, really expensive. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get what we need. We do have another one just at the top of the road. It's much much bigger, but uh, Pi said there was no chain link fence in there. So uh, yeah, never mind. We'll uh, keep on looking around, but uh, at least we've got the chain link fencing here. Well, that's the chain link fencing ordered. That'll be here next Tuesday, Wednesday. It was 2,000 baht for two meters high and 10 meters long, and we got it for 1,800 baht. So, uh, yep, 10 rolls. It's uh, 18,000 baht, quite a, quite a bit. But at the end of the day, It'll sort out that duck and chicken pen. So absolutely fantastic progress as far as I'm concerned. It's all good news. As you can see, this is the main village road and uh, yeah, not a huge amount of traffic. This boys and girls is the, uh, the local beekeeper. And they're just now starting to put the hives out in the rubber plantations around the farms. So, uh, I'm hoping within the next few weeks that um, we'll see some honey. I'll see if I can get that on camera for you. It's really very, very cool. Ice cream. I do like ice cream. There's a favourite of mine here as well. This one here. Reminds me of um, an ice cream we used to get back in the UK called Twister. It's kind of um, sweet and sour. It's really nice. Has anybody tried the new uh, Cornetto Mint Choc? Oh, I had one the other day. Now that is some good eating. I love mint chocolate ice cream. Yeah, I quite like my ice cream. When we were living in Phuket, there was a really nice ice cream parlor not far from where we were living. Galato ice cream as well. Oh, it was so good. They did this peach melba like you've never tasted. Oh, but of course, you know, we can't get that sort of stuff up here, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that's the way it goes, isn't it? That's life. I still wouldn't move back there. You couldn't pay me enough. The folks over there just asked me if I want to come and eat. <laughs> See what I mean about the locals? Never let you go hungry. It's lovely, isn't it? Now this little store is really handy because this is where I pay my internet bill and my electric bill. So you just come along and they've got it on computer and they just do it here. So that means you don't have to go into town for it, which is fantastic. It just saves a lot of time. It is a great little village apart from uh, the noisy neighbors, but you know, what do you do? Find somewhere else to live. <laughs> yeah, we're still looking. Yeah, as you can see, it's a, a busy old main road. It doesn't get a vast amount of traffic, it really doesn't. Now here's something really interesting that never really occurred to me uh, regarding the gimbal. Let me just grab my Coke. Mm, Coke and ice. Uh, just Coke. Um, I promise, just Coke. As you guys know, I use the uh, Tascam external voice recorder. If you're thinking about getting into vlogging, there are one of the key aspects to any good vlog is actually audio. You can generally give people some pretty poor sort of quality regarding 
video but when it comes to audio if they can't hear it or you know if it's distorted the sounds distorted in any way they'll lose interest pretty quickly it is quite an interesting concept and one that Peter McKinnon uh, was talking about at one point I'll leave a link uh, in the description below if you're interested in having a look at uh, what he had to say he produces some really really good work so anyway I found out that once you put your GoPro camera on the gimbal it actually picks up a lot of the motor noise to the point where um, the um, audio on the GoPro becomes obsolete. You can't use it at all. So be aware of that. Uh, certainly a gimbal is um, a great thing to have. It's just fantastic. But if you're gonna vlog, you really should have an external voice recording system anyway. The GoPro Hero 5 Black's uh, voice recording system is not bad, but it's not brilliant either. I'll give you a quick idea of what it sounds like. Listen to this. As you can see, it, um, it produces quite a bit of noise. I was quite surprised just how much noise it did uh, create. But again, you know, um, if you really want to produce a vlog and anything of real good quality, then go for an, an external voice recorder. The Tascam D05, uh, this little thing here, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. I think it was about $99, and I think the mic cost me around about another $10 and that's that little thing there. It was a Sony PC60. So uh, yeah, it's something certainly to consider. Well, that's about all we got time for today, guys. Uh, pies are across the road eating her noodles. Uh, fam's in there eating something or another. And uh, I'm out here vlogging, which I've got to go and edit. It's getting later in the day, and uh, of course, we've got to get off to the farm soon. So that's about it. Whatever you do, guys, have a fantastic day. And remember, stay safe. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.